I grew up not thinking I could not be in any industry I wanted to be. With the exception of one person, my entire management team is female at Berger. Hone in on that specific, that thing that gets you excited. My very special guest, and every guest is very special, of course, but my extra special guest today is none other than the general manager of Berger Paints, uh, Caribbean Limited, right here in Barbados. Now, I gotta tell you, I, that word and that name, Berger, is in my family too as well, because I have a sister whose husband um, is Mr. Berger, except they say Berger. Uh, I don't know how B-E-R-G-E-R -E -E gets to be burger, but um, but that's an American. Yes, yes, so, that's true. So, so uh, you know, that name has been in the family um, in, in New York for, for many, many years. So there you go. So, you know, we start with a... With a connection with already, a connection, right? right? Yes. Yeah. So, none other than Rio Singh, um, originally from Trinidad and Tobago, but as of this month, January, celebrating her first anniversary in her new home here in Barbados. Is that correct? Rhea? That is correct. Okay. That is correct. So, Rhea, let me ask this question first of all. Growing up in Trinidad and Tobago, you ever saw yourself, ever thought that one day you would be working and living in Barbados? No, actually. Um, I would have visited for a short stint at a time. But really, it, it was never part of my plan, part of my vision. It just, you know, it was an opportunity that basically fell into my lap. And I was like, why not? Um, but I have, prior to this, I have worked outside of Trinidad. I, I worked with Western Union in Florida for several months when it, I was doing an internship there. So I'm not new to packing up my bags, trying something different and just you know seeing, seeing how it goes yeah, yeah yeah tell me a little bit about your your life growing up what was life like for you growing up in in trinidad and tobago and more perhaps specifically in san fernando yeah so i'm the last of three girls mm -hmm. uh, my dad was a school teacher and my mom she actually uh, when i was at a very young age she opened her own business uh, and she was in an area that was not dominated by, in fact, she was the only female in her industry. She was involved in home, re home repairs for home appliances. And um, so that actually is one of the reasons why Your for me- was involved in home repairs for home appliances? Yes, so she was not actually doing the repairs. She was managing a team oh, of people, right? But, um, but that was my really first foray into business, um, into owning a business and, and really, seeing how that can transform your life and also seeing a female, a woman in an industry that generally does not have men. So I grew up not having that baggage. I grew up not thinking I could not be in any industry I wanted to be. Now, you, you, you grew up in, in an Asian family. I mean, uh, the traditional view was that, you know, the girls um, got married, you know, raised a family and so on. Uh, you obviously have a father as a a teacher and having a mother as a businesswoman, you didn't have that kind of traditional kind of pressure. No, uh, you no. Yours is the opposite no. to what many Asian families uh, expect of their, their females. Yeah, the emphasis was really on education, making sure you hit all the, at the time it would have been CXC, then A-levels and university, and you know, then you go into the, the working world. So no, in terms of getting married at an early age was never really part of my plan. Yeah. Uh, so university life, uh, you mentioned university, you went to the University of the West Indies. Yes. And you did your first degree, but you also did a second degree yes. as well. Yes, yes. At that point in time, um, after a few years of work experience, I decided that I wanted to, you know, specialize in marketing. So I did my MSc in marketing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, did that did that prepare you for your, your current role um, that you, you currently have? Well, my current role involves more than marketing. So it, it actually encompasses all of management. It's in a manufacturing company. Um, at Berger, we manufacture our own paints. So I have had to delve into the world of production, technology, uh, marketing, which I know, but you know, there's a whole how do you make sure that you, you produce quality paints every day? And, and that is where I'm spending my time learning, um, developing that skill set, you know, and also managing the business is something I'm, managing any business is something I'm familiar with, but really focusing on the manufacturing side of the business is where I am paying my attention to now. 
So you've entered into the den, so to speak, and uh, of, of manufacturing with all of the challenges, relocating to Barbados, uh, the uncertainty of coming into a new environment, but, but willing to take a challenge and, and, and to have a, uh, an adventure in, in, in a sense. Was the reception that you got, though, what you expected uh, when, you, when you came? I'm, it was, I, and I uh, will say okay. this. So, so here's this young um, Trini lady who is now my general manager. She's not been in the manufacturing and so on, but you know, um, there, there's and manufacturing is a is a different kind of thing to retail. You know, um, it's it's a, it's the kind of industry that it's more uh, industrial and that mm. kind of stuff and so on. So, I mean, doesn't that did, wasn't that a bit intimidating? Well, I'll tell you something. Almost, uh, I, with the exception of one person, my entire management team is female at Bujo. So therefore, oh, that's an interesting. Yeah. So therefore, I didn't have that barrier. Uh -huh. So they accepted me, um, at least from a gender standpoint. So it, it, it it's a very powerful female-led management team. So that was good. Well, you, so, so you didn't have the, uh, a kind of a pushback because it's male dominance and suddenly there's a woman coming in. No, yes. no, yeah. not at all. Yeah, it's, one of, it's one of, hey guys, it's one of our people. <laughs> it's one of us who is, uh, who is coming into to this, this position. Yes, you know? yes. Now, you know, a lot of young women up there watching you um, are going through the same challenges that perhaps you went through when you're at school, what do I want to do? What do I, what do I do with my life? You know, uh, either post school or post university. Ray, what, what do you say to some young person who's male or female who's watching this and looking at you and your success because you have been successful um, uh, in your life thus far? What, what would you say to them if they're struggling with the whole concept of? What do I do? What are my choices and that sort of stuff? Yeah. I would say to, to zero in on what makes you happy. Look into, it might be a topic, a subject that you're good at, that you are interested in. It might be someone that you see and you, you really emulate them. Uh, and, and hone in on that specific that thing that gets you excited. Now, it, it's, as, a, as a young person, it's difficult. So I would also say in addition to that, because it doesn't always just magically appear. So I would say to try as many different things as possible. Keep your options as broad as possible until you figure out exactly what direction you want to go in. And in addition to that, take risks. You know, the world is, is you know, we say the world is a big place, but it really is a small place. It's as, it's as big as you make it out to be. And if you have a broad vision for yourself, and if you don't see yourself pigeon in a specific area, you open up opportunities all over. So Ray, I want to thank you for being my very special guest here on the, on the Red Couch. I hope it won't be the last time that you visit with us here at, at, at Capital Media. And, um, and we salute you um, as International Women's Day comes up on March the 8th. We salute you as an outstanding Caribbean woman who's taken on a challenge to head up a major manufacturing company with lots of legacy and traditions and values and to take on the challenge of leading that company into the next phase um, in, in, into the future. So congratulations to you. And Thank you. May your story um, inspire many of the, of the young people out there, male and female, who are trying to decide what is it that I want to become in the future? Yes. And hopefully you have inspired them. I hope so as well. Thank you. I'm sure you have. <laughs> That's Rhea Singh, General Manager of Berger Paints Barbados. She is from Trinidad and Tobago and is now celebrating one year here in Barbados. We want to thank her for taking time out to come to Capital Media and more importantly, to be here on the red couch with us.